Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Runway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 22nd, 2023. Well, Friday, we uh, kicked those bears a little bit and woke them up. Had a little bit of selling on Friday, but at the end of the day, there was really no technical damage. We did leave behind some maybe con some, some concerning um, candlestick patterns, but not much of anything else there occurred. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can take an unbiased look as to where the markup may be going. If we look at the diamonds, as you can see, <laughs> unfortunately, we rallied, we broke down this um, range that we have been stuck in for so long broke that range down and then um, rallied right back up into the range and unfortunately we saw a little selling on Friday which didn't really help anything. Um, we're still stuck in this trading range. We still have that little bit of downtrend there in play and um, an awful lot of uncertainty here as to what comes next. So if those bulls were to find inspiration today, well I'm going to look for a retest of that resistance right in here that push back up if we can make it a little bit higher maybe we come up here and retest that resistance right there in the chart and then of course if they were able to push on through there well then we're going to look all the way up here um, in that uh, chart now if we take a look right in here if those bears were to find inspiration for today well maybe possibly a test of this trend line break and if that were to fail well possibly right back down in here to test these levels that we've tested a couple of times here recently and as you can see that would be back down here around that 50-day moving average or below so watch that carefully if those bears find a little bit of um, energy here um, certainly that uh, candle pattern in there leaves a little bit of uncertainty but there's nothing very bearish about that kind of an inside day on that candle um, let's take a look at the spy now spy made the breakout occur on thursday and tried to push on through on friday but then all of this budget or debt ceiling wrangling the bond yields rising creating more regional banking pressures those uncertainties really started to crop up of course all of the fed talk out there that they are um well maybe not going to raise rates but certainly not suggesting that they're going to be lowering rates anytime soon so a um, little bit of uncertainty there um, in that it so if we can hold this price support right in here hold that price support and slide out there to that trend then we would be bullish um, as a matter of fact, if we prove to hold this price support and push on through, I'll turn this line green. Um, right now, we still have that uncertainty, that possibility here. If those bears were to find inspiration, that we push back down into this area of the chart. Maybe we push back down into this support level, test that trend. Um, whether or not that will hold, that's what we'll have to be watching for. If the bulls find um, inspiration, then I'm going to suggest we continue to press up here and we look to test these highs in the chart, maybe right across there. Now, technically in the chart, we're in really good shape. There's nothing in here uh, that suggests bearishness, but there is that uh, little question as to whether or not we're a little bit overbought in the short term. Now, if we take a look at our QQQ, our QQQ just ripped last week to the upside, breaking through resistance levels, broke through this high point. By the way, this is a 50% retracement 
of the overall bear market of last year. So we'll want to watch that closely. We know that 50% retracement level can create either a support or a resistance level in the chart. Saw a little teeny tiny little bit of selling in there, almost inconsequential um, on that. You can see our trend continues to remain up here and strong. So I need to take this line and I need to change this to a green. Um, we're holding in there very, very bullish. And there is our current trend in the chart. Now, what that would suggest is a little bit of pullback might be coming in the chart or a substantial consolidation could be coming along in the chart. So if those bulls find inspiration, well, where do we go? Well, if you look right up here, we're going to run into some more price resistance, not much higher here in the chart. And if we can punch through that, well, then it's a fairly big move to the upside. So keep an eye on that. If those bears were to find inspiration today, I would suggest maybe a retest of this support area in the chart. And if that doesn't hold, unfortunately, it's a fairly big move back down to uh, test some additional price supports in the chart. Um, QQQ definitely is the most overextended um, and most overbought um, index in the chart. It is also by far the most bullish. Um, let's take a look at IWM. Now our IWM chart, again, providing us a little bit of uncertainty we rallied nicely we held this price support but then we put in that kind of an ugly little dark cloud cover pattern here in the chart still respecting that price resistance above so if those bulls happen to find inspiration today let's look to see if we can retest this high here and then maybe even push on up and test this big resistance level in the chart if the bears find inspiration today well unfortunately we're looking at a push right back down into this area to see if we can test that uh, new line here as a support. If we test that as a support and bounce off, I'll turn that green. Right now, that's still an uncertainty. And if um, that were to fail, then of course, we're right back down here, pushing down through these lows or testing these lows once again in the chart. So what do we have going on here today? Well, if we take a look at our VIX, our VIX, you can see, just kind of hanging out in the same range. We continue to just wander around here in the market. No particular bearishness. No, uh, and we just, except for the NASDAQ, we can't seem to get any particular bullishness in the market. So we're just kind of wandering around here in our VIX, stuck between um, this 16 handle and an 18 handle. If the bears were to find inspiration today, then I would look for a retest up into here. And if that breaks, that could be um, add some excitement to the market if that were to um, get going, because I think if profit taking starts, we could see a pretty substantial wave of selling and profit taking in the market. Not saying it's going to start, but if it does, I would be watching carefully for that. If those bulls find inspiration, then maybe a retest back down here on these lows. I'm gonna move this line down. You can see this line over here corresponds to a low over here. I'm going to move this down into here. So a retest maybe down into this level of the chart. Let's take a look at our T2122. Well, T2122 showed us a pretty substantial reversal off of the lows. And then Friday, we got a little bit of bearish action here. So what do we end up with? Well, we ended up with a market kind of stuck in the middle again. Um, <laughs> we're very, very close to that 50% area of the chart, which doesn't tell us which way the market's going to go. It just tells us that the market is trying to figure a direction out. It tells us that we have pretty substantial upside opportunity if the bulls find inspiration. It tells us we have pretty substantial downside opportunity if the bears find inspiration. So be ready for just about anything. If we take a look at our T2108, these, these internals, um, very interesting in all of the bullishness that we've seen here in the, the NASDAQ, 
what we're seeing overall is not that many stocks rallying. It's a very select few stocks that are lifting the market. The big tech giants have been doing a lot of the work out there. And although that we had some others mixing in there, what you want to notice here with all of that bullishness that we've seen, we just haven't been able to move the percentage of stocks above the 40 day moving average. And um, we continue to wind up in this um, wedging pattern here in the chart. So uh, there's nothing bearish here. There's nothing really particularly bullish here. We're stuck between some support res and some resistance levels in the chart and we continue to wind. But I do think it's interesting you know, we get this perception that the market is just extremely bullish. Well, the percentage of stocks above the 40 day moving average would suggest something different that although we have very select stocks moving, we have an awful lot of stocks that are moving sideways to down. So watch that carefully here. If we do, and this is one of the reasons I think if we do find some profit takers, if profit taking starts coming into the market, then we could make a pretty substantial move um, to the downside. There could be some fairly big moves because I think we've got a little bit of pent up pressure um, in the market. And if proper profit taking comes in, you could just see folks running for the doors pretty quickly. Um, let's take a look at our T2107. Now our T2107, very similar here in that chart in that in that fact that doggone it we just aren't moving enough here to uh change these the percentage of stocks holding above their 200 day um despite all of the bullishness and that sense of just wild bullishness in the market well we're not moving the meter here much on t2107 so once again we're stuck between support and resistance in the chart and uh, once again, I think this leads us to that idea that if, and I'm not saying it will begin, but if some selling pressure comes in or some profit taking comes in on the market, we could expect some pretty big potential moves if that were to occur. What are we kind of counting on here for the upside move? Well, I think we're counting on corporate buybacks and retail pushing because the Goldman report this week um, suggested that the CTAs, the computer traded um, um, algorithms out there are maxed out. As a matter of fact, they didn't suggest even in an uptrending market that there would be any buying, um, that they are maxed out on their positions. So if those sellers come in, we can see those CTAs really start to unload to the downside. So watch that carefully. And then if we take a look at our T2101, well, T2101 continues to be about as confused as the market is. We continue to whipsaw and go different direction just about every day, showing that momentum in the market is struggling quite a bit, despite the fact we have those big tech giants just racing to the upside. So watch that carefully. You know, I think if the big tech giants start to find some profit taking, we could see that market really pull back. So just be just watch those carefully. I'm not saying that's going to occur, but I would watch carefully for that. Then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar, boy, not much on it for today, but certainly we're going to have a big week of data um, ahead. As you can see right here, we've got one, two, three Fed speakers and a three and a six month bond auction today. So Fed speak, of course, can move us substantially. Um, we'll want to watch um, watch that. We've been seeing bond yields moving up as they've been talking, suggesting that, hey, they're not going to cut, maybe even raise, um, adding that additional pressure in that bond market, which is additionally adding pressure to that regional banking sector. So watch, watch that carefully. If we take a look as we head into the week, PMI composite, new home sales, those will be very interesting on Tuesday. Of course, some more Fed speak. We've got uh, mortgage applications, petroleum status, and an FOMC bond announcement with a two and five year um, a note auction that we'll want to be paying attention to. Oh, I guess there's a four month in there as well. 
And then as we move into Thursday, the big data points coming our way, GDP, jobless claims, pending home sales, durable goods orders, international trading goods, personal incomes and outlays. That's that Fed favorite number in there coming up on Friday. So kind of keep that in mind. We've got um, an interesting week shaping up that could provide some big potential point moves in the indexes. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. Now our earnings calendar is really starting to wind down. We're not getting near as many earnings reports. Um, but we will have some potential market moving earnings reports kind of salt and peppered throughout the next couple of weeks. So uh, kind of keep an eye out for those. But for today, about the only notables that I could really come up with, um, uh, Globe will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that global. I'm seeing a little bit of bearishness in the pre-market on that. We got HEI that will be reporting today. Watch that one, a little bit of bullishness coming into that one this morning. Um, NDSN will be reporting today. And then Zoom Mobile, we'll wanna be keeping an eye on Zoom Mobile. It's been trying to come up out of this bottom to challenge that downtrend in the chart. It'll be interesting to see how that performs here today. So let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, and that's also click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who does do that. I do truly, truly appreciate it. By the way, um, um, I also want to give a huge shout out to those folks that are supporting the channel through the buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video. Thank you so much, everyone. You guys are truly, truly awesome. Let's take a look at some of these stocks. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You've got to do your own due diligence. Be really, really careful here in the market um, because there could be that potential of some big point moves coming this week. What I mean by that is just be careful not to overtrade. If you have really good profits in this market, remember, don't don't let greed get in the way. Make sure you take some of those profits. We're traders not necessarily investors. Let's take a look here um, in the market. Um, take a look at Valero. Um, Valero, I placed a price alert on this. Um, I think it's interesting just in the fact that we saw a big surge in oil um, sector stocks on Friday pushing up Valero. Nice little consolidating pattern. I'm not sure if this is ready for prime time just yet, but watch this closely. We're trying to make a little higher low in here. Uh, Valero might be of interest. Um, keep a close eye on that. Um, Carvana. Carvana. I also placed a price alert here in Carvana. It popped through on Thursday, gave it all back on Friday. So we'll want to watch that closely. This this has that potential. This could go either direction. Still holding on a pretty good level of price support. So, and, and, and by the way, we still have plenty of time here to find that trend here in the market. So if this has to rest a little more, no problem. I keep an eye on that. Still looking pretty good overall. Take a look at um, um, Wayfair. Wayfair was trying. Here's another one that popped through on Thursday and gave it all back on Friday. Again, trying to make a little bit of a higher low in here. Let's watch that close to see if that can move on through. Keeping in mind um, that anything is possible. Just something interesting for the list. Take a look at um, OXY, Occidental. We heard um, a report that even as we've been pulling back, Warren Buffett has been buying more and more of Occidental. So watch this carefully here. I don't know if we'll find a bottom in here just yet, but we had that nice spike um, on Friday above that downtrend. Now let's see if we can hold this higher low in here. See if that can 
hang on and maybe get us an upside move going in some of these oil sector stocks. Now, one of the things that could be fighting us here on the commodity side is we're going to have to be taking a look at the U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar has strengthened dramatically here um, over the last um, several trading days, just ripping back to the upside. So watch that carefully. Um, any rest or pullback in here could set up that next opportunity to stretch on through to the upside. And when I mention this, that means that we have to be watching all commodity prices for a potential sell-off. That's food commodities, precious metals, all of those kind of things could sell off dramatically. And that brings me to GLD. GLD had a pretty substantial pullback here and we found this trend still holding it on that trend you see a little bit of bullishness trying to build in here in the pre-market on that now if this can push back up above that resistance and hold it as support then we may still have some upside opportunities one of the things that could make that occur is if we continue to see um, some stress in the regional banking sector. If the regional banking sector runs into that big stress, and, and the reason that we could be running back into that big stress is that our bond yields are just really, really strong. And with bond yields being strong, that presses the losses um, in these regional banks higher on all of their holdings. And so watch that carefully. We rallied up nicely here, but we'll want to be paying attention to uh, this resistance area in the chart. If KRE starts to roll back over and we start seeing pressure building in that regional bank banking sector for more downside, that and by the way janet yellen spoke on this this week she says that she believes that there's going to be more bank consolidation so that doesn't bode well for kre if the treasury sector secretary is warning that there could be more um, consolidations coming and that may actually help gold move higher now silver could be a different story silver has more of an industrial use here in the market and you can see it's broken that support in here pretty substantially there is another support in here that we've grabbed a hold of we could get that rally back in here but as we rally back toward a resistance level i would be watching up here uh, for silver that could trigger a potential short if it can't get through if it does get through then I would look for some more upside here in that chart now another place you might want to look is uh, on the commodity side is steel now steel has been in a very ugly sell-off here you can see in Cleveland Cliffs running down and this might just be a bear flag setting up here in that chart you can see a bearish engulfing candle on friday if you're looking for a short trade if the dollar is going to strengthen look for some of those commodity prices to continue to move lower on the bullish side of course tech is is where it's at um, nvidia is going to be one of those to be paying attention this week it's going to report on wednesday um, it could rally right in to that earnings report a lot of hype on ai chips here um, one of the things that you if you look at the pe ratio on this this thing is just absolutely ridiculously overbought on a pe ratio but that doesn't seem to matter to anyone right now they just want to buy tech so watch this we're pressing a little bit of resistance and we certainly have additional resistance above that could be tested as we head into that earnings report be very very careful careful here. AMD has also been one of those that just soar, uh, soared on this idea that, or this um, revelation that Microsoft and AMD are collaborating on some AI chips. So watch that carefully, breaking through some resistance here in the chart. And now I think any rest or pullback in here sets up that next opportunity to the upside. One thing you will want to consider is that trend is probably not sustainable little bit more resting and consolidation can easily come into that chart or even more of a substantial pullback 
uh, protracted pullback coming into AMD. So watch that carefully. If it loses this support, that could be a bit of a problem. If it holds up here, look for maybe a little more consolidation and rest. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for listening and being here. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you all right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a productive and profitable day, everyone.